Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Firstly, I want to remind you today of our meditation on Gaia at 9 pm. Everyone can participate. The purpose of this meditation is to alter the timeline that Gaia is in at this moment. Humanity has once again pushed Gaia into the past, once again leading the planet into despair and imbalance. So we need to act strongly and precisely, so that Gaia goes to another timeline and can continue her journey and yours to the fifth dimension. At the same time, I would like to explain something, how can such a small group change the planet's timeline? I explain, it's easy and simple. You are alone, are you the ones leading the meditation? Of course not, we alone cannot make decisions ourselves, because it would also be an invasion of free will. So we need you to act together with us, as if giving us permission to do something. Once again a question comes, but we are very few. Shouldn't the entire planet be heard? I would say that if we were to wait for the entire planet to be heard, you would still be subjugated, as you were a long time ago. Never forget that you are all connected, no one is isolated or separated from the planet. So when a small group, as you call yourselves, starts something in favor of the light, this energy reverberates throughout the planet and everyone receives it, because you are interconnected. Furthermore, you are not all in one location, you are spread across the planet. So a large network actually forms on the planet, it doesn't matter if there is only one at each point, this reverberates. And each higher self of enlightened hearts takes this energy that is being released and adds to it the energy of that being that is receiving it. So in fact it's not just you who are doing the meditation at that moment, it's the whole planet. All those whose hearts are turned towards the light, all those whose hearts contain love. They don't need to be awake, whoever controls everything is each person's higher self, and certainly, in some way, each person will feel it, you won't understand, but you will feel. So the volume of people is not just you. It's a whole network of interconnected light on the planet, that's why you can change the planet's timeline. Adding to this, there is the energy of those who lead the process and meditation. Your role in a meditation like this is to give us the order, the permission, to give us the agreement for the earth to change to a better timeline. That's why you need to participate and the more people there are, the stronger this energy becomes. So think about the following only one person on each continent, a network is formed, it is a weak network, but it is formed. And she is enough for us not to invade her free will. Because everyone else is receiving that energy, but those few pillars, the five, don't emanate that much energy, but everyone receives it, because the network exists. And it's enough to give us permission to act. So in this case we will have to use much more, as you say, much more force to move the planet, because your energy is very weak. Now, if you gather in thousands, then it changes, because you create a force around the planet. The energy emanated by thousands is different from the energy emanated by four, five. So, in addition to giving us permission to act, you collaborate with the process, with your own energy and faith. So it's as if we were CO participants in the process along with you. So what's the big truth we take from this? That it would only take one person, doing the meditation consciously, to give us the authorization, the permission to act. Because that one would reverberate throughout the planet and each higher self, we would participate with their consent, with their agreement and we would act in the same way. This is why, this is another way of explaining that a meditation without the guidance of a being of light is very weak. For you alone to change the planet's timeline, you would need the billions that exist on the surface of this planet to have the same thought. So, realize that many times, you are told to do everything alone, believing that you will be able to change. I don't say you don't change, because you have power. So if your faith is great, you do change 
but not to a very distant and much simpler timeline. It's as if we jumped 1000 timelines and you alone only jumped one. So the result is practically zero. I'm not going to stay here explaining the advantages and disadvantages of having a being of light guiding a meditation, that has already been said enough. So participating in a meditation like this is giving us consent so that we can act and act. And where are we taking the planet? So let's go. As I said, you start the process, it reverberates on the planet, each higher self participates in the process, and how often you are in this group of people. If there is a high frequency, if you are vibrating high, we throw the planet into a very distant timeline, proportional to the degree of energy you are emanating. Now, if you are vibrating low, there is nothing we can do. You will change your timeline, but to a very close timeline, because everything is proportional. It's as if we added together the energy of all of you and gave it a value, and this value determines which timeline we will take the planet to. So right now, I can tell you that you are vibrating very low. You have returned to vibrating all that movement from a while ago, of fear, of insecurity, of doubt, that's what you're vibrating. And why is everything happening again? You will vibrate this. As long as you continue to listen to everything that is shown and said, I am sorry to tell you that it will get worse and worse because you are creating it. If I tell you that you are powerful enough to change the planet's timeline, you are also powerful enough to harm the planet, to harm yourself. So keep vibrating the fear, the doubt, continue, and everything that is there will get worse and worse, because you are creating it. You are giving, as you use in your world, yeast for this dough to rise, and you are giving strength to those who are watching this happen and are laughing their heads off. Because they are doing nothing more, just asking a question here, a question there and you get on board like ducks, as you also say. So continue, there's nothing we can do. If we take this attitude, to change the planet's timeline today, it is to break this chain that you are creating. You are creating this, they are not doing anything else. They just use the weapon they still have, and you believe everything. Really, the impression we have every day is that you forget everything we said. You can't stay on a level, you always need to comment, get involved, focus. Ever. Then they look at the sky and ask, why doesn't anything happen? No, nothing happens. And what are you provoking? And what did you cause? Everything that is there is the result of the fear placed by all of you, it is fear of everything. And then I ask each one of you, where are the other diseases, no one is afraid of anything anymore, nothing kills on this planet anymore. You forgot the rest. And yet, many people continue to die from other diseases. No one hurts, no one cries, no one is scared, why? Because it's not fashionable, because it's not in the news all the time, but they're still there and people keep dying. But you only see one thing, you focus on one thing, so the yeast only makes this dough rise. So keep doing this, keep doubting what we say, keep believing that we are doing nothing, that we are simply standing still, drinking juice, swinging in the hammock, watching you end up here on the planet. That's what you're doing. As long as you focus on what is there, nothing will change. You almost made it, almost. But the mass was bigger and managed to reverse everything we had achieved. Let's start all over again. Do you understand why things don't happen? Do you understand what you do to the planet, to your own brothers, to yourself? Each one of you who wakes up with fear or who comments or who doubts, puts a small spoonful of this yeast into the dough, and yeast makes the dough grow a lot, even if it's just a little. So keep emanating doubt, keep emanating disbelief, this mass will only grow. And if you continue, you will reach the point where you were a while ago, exactly the same. You are creating this. Fear made this all happen. So today we are looking to break, let's say, freeze this mass so that it stops growing, 
and take you to a new timeline, in an attempt to give you time to think. And make new decisions, learn to close your mouth, learn not to think, learn not to add yeast to something so bad. So that's what we'll do today. Now which timeline you will go to will depend solely and exclusively on you. If you vibrate high, if you vibrate faith and trust, you will propel the planet's timeline far and wide and we will carry you. So you need to understand this whole process. We don't do anything without your authorization, we don't do anything that isn't a product of what you think and want. We cannot. Now, I always remember, Gaia continues to rise and the moment will come, the X day, as you say, when she will ascend and who will go with her. Those who are ready, those who do not doubt, those who believe, those who have faith, those who vibrate high, will go with it. And the rest who remain there adding yeast to the dough, doubting, expressing doubts, I'm sorry, will continue with their doubts elsewhere, no longer here on the planet. We are giving the chance and time for many to ascend, but you don't seem to understand this, you prefer to believe on the outside than to believe in what we say. It's your choice and we respect it. Just make sure you understand, nothing changes for us. So I'm just going to leave you with one thought now, do you want to ascend, do you? So start vibrating high, start trusting with your eyes closed, start believing in what we say and start living as if you were already in the fifth dimension. Only then will you have any chance of ascending. It's not guaranteed yet but you'll have a chance.